Historically, we don't have natural disasters. In 2022, I guess, because of global warming, we did have disastrous floods in oh. KwaZulu-Natal that left hundreds of people dead. We had like extremely that strong winds last year at some point, I believe, uh -huh. which caused a lot of damage. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Pagoda One YouTube channel. And today we've got a more serious topic. Yeah, but important. Global warming. What do you think of when you hear global warming? The ice caps melting, yeah, the sea levels rising, <laughs> the, polar bears. the polar bears. Yeah, yeah. I think we've all seen the video of the pictures of you know the polar bear, the moms on one side, the kids on the other. Bless <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> the animals. Yeah. The people. It's the people have caused this. So. Yeah. Yeah. What do we have it's to say? We've caused this. it and we're suffering from it, so... Exactly. Caused it, we're suffering, and now we're complaining about yeah. it. Right. <laughs> what do you feel about the weather these days? Insane. It's bloody cold. No, it's so cold. <laughs> it's Wait, so cold. isn't it cold in England? No. No? It's rainy and windy, which uh, leads to the feeling of being uh, very cold. Just <laughs> gloomy. It gives you the illusion of being very uh, cold. But the temp temperature-wise, if you get into the minus... Yeah. Celsius. It, mm. Yeah, everyone starts freaking out if it's in the minuses and schools get closed and whatnot. Oh. Snow day was school closed day for us. This whole business of minus 11 this week, not common for you? Uh, like, I, my mum was like complaining. She's like, Sam, it's like five degrees this week. I was like, mum, it's minus 14. <laughs> and she was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, We're having a huge chill, like a huge ice kind of storm in the US right now. But mm -hmm. Oklahoma, we're middle south, right? So we do get snow, but we mostly get like like freezing rain. It just, oh. everything ices over. The streets ice over, the trees ice, and so they like crack and fall down and like damage cars and So you and get houses. like black ice on the road. Yes. Ooh. Right now in the winter, there's been an extreme shift to really, really cold. And then like, as we felt here in Korea this summer, it was hot. Even before summer, I think at the <sighs> beginning of winter, in November, there was a weird week uh -huh. yeah, it just went, suddenly yeah. became very cold yes. and then immediately after it, it was hot and I was like Because of global warming, there are many natural disasters in the world, right? Mm. What are some natural disasters that occur a lot in your countries? Uh, this oh. is a sort of funny one because South Africa, historically, we don't have natural disasters Oh. We are in the middle of a tectonic plate, so there's no such thing as oh. earthquakes or tsunamis. Oh. But I mean, we experience some heavy rain or heavy winds because of them, but they never mm. reach land. And Even it's in just, like the mountainous areas? No, we just don't have that much. But up north, we do have a lot of thunderstorms. Mm. That said, in 2022, I guess, because of global warming, we did have disastrous floods in oh. KwaZulu-Natal that left hundreds of people dead oh. and tens of thousands uh, this place. Tens of so thousands. yeah, Jeez. Jeez. a lot of people felt the impact of that. So it's yeah, quite imagine. recent, but Especially that's the largest one. Uh -huh. There's probably people just weren't prepared. No, we, like don't, historically yeah, we don't get before. these things. I mean, yeah. some areas flood, but it's generally for a short time, yeah. very mm. quickly. But we've never experienced something like that. Mm. We had like extremely that's strong that's winds that's last year at some point, I believe, that. which caused a lot of damage. But many sure Wales gets a lot of yes, yeah. yes. How about oh, the um, U.S. is such a huge territory. I think we have a, a variety of natural things that happen. East Coast gets a lot of hurricane. East and Southeast, like mm -hmm. Virginia and Florida, even like Louisiana got hit by a really bad one a few years back, and there was a major flooding and like millions of people like displaced. I mean, Google that. In my area, is tornadoes. Mm -hmm. What would you think is more like dangerous, a tornado or a hurricane? Tornadoes, we have what we have tornado shelters. So they're basically built into the ground and you can go down in them and shut the door and hope nothing falls on top of the door. So thank you for that. Oh, yeah. 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 So the new it. trend is like to kind of put it in your garage. That way it has a structure to cover it, but uh -huh. you know, you would go down into the shelter. So we can hide from tornadoes. We can get under a bridge if you're driving. You can get underground. But hurricanes, I feel like the water, the fluid, the water can go down. Right. It's interesting because I heard one of the other scary parts is less about the force of the nature itself, uh -huh. but the fact that we track hurricanes before they breach land many tornadoes. times. But tornadoes are more often 
They can be, yeah. They can be sort of, but just... They can be just spontaneous. Like yeah. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to hurricanes. I would be more scared of a hurricane mm. uh -huh. for me personally because I'm not. I don't know what to do. Right. Well, you didn't mention it a little bit, but what's the biggest natural disaster event that happened in your country? So I would probably say Katrina, Hurricane Katrina. If not, I think that's the most famous one. Yeah. Maybe it's like a long natural disaster, yeah. but Cape Town, my home city had a drought for mm. the longest of time. Oh. Before I came to Korea that year, we were at sort of getting rationed water. Oh, dang. And so you, I can't remember exactly how much you were allowed to use a day, but for, as an example, you could shower at max five minutes oh. per person. Mm. One place yeah. could be oh. flooding while another place could be experiencing And that's exactly what happened. Like yeah. India mm. had a really bad flood mm. last year. China yeah, had a big global. one, yeah. Korea had a big one. That's true. It wasn't as bad as uh, the year, year before, before last. <laughs> yeah. I heard that Gangnam uh -huh. was like swimming towards. Yeah, there's yeah, the no. famous meme. Like, oh, the yeah. memes with the, the guy, guy on the, the car. car. Yeah, the guy like, car yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although there is fear now that because the, the glaciers and stuff are melting, that a lot of these diseases yeah. are going to be re released <clears throat> mm -hmm. into the population, and that there's a big fear that the bubonic plague could yeah. be re released. No, I'm scared. <laughs> It's you should be scared. It's it's like serious. Kind of because we talked about I'm part Native American in, in a few videos back, but like Mother Nature or Mother Earth or whatever naming you have in your tribe, like you should really respect Mother mm -hmm. Nature. Like she is powerful. She gives oh, yeah. and she takes. Right. You have to respect nature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can prevent something. So find your local in your local communities. There are lots of environmental NPOs. Reach out, see what you can learn, see what you can do to help save the environment, save the turtles. Yeah. Mm. The sort of polar caps, we don't want to create a new bubonic plague. Yeah, and any action, it might feel small, might feel insignificant, like you're not making a difference, but it's better than nothing. Um, I use metal straws that people make fun of me for carrying oh, in my bag, cool. but it's and it doesn't seem like that big, but it's it's something. But I bought one of the rechargeable yeah. hand warmers. Oh, that's smart. also eco friendly. Because oh, nice. I'm tired of throwing away the little hot packs. I do make gloves, and I don't even know how they break, like break those down. But so I bought one that's like rechargeable, that's and you cool. can just like push a button and it does like 35, 45, 55, and then it warms up. Did you buy it? Coupon. Of course. Of course. I don't know why I <laughs> and like, Leave a comment as well. Let us know what you have been doing already. Yeah. Let us know what you want to start doing. And maybe we can join you. You know, I think maybe we could even give a little challenge to our viewers to, uh, you know, to find something that is deemed like harmful or not eco-friendly and find an, ex you know, a substitute for it that is eco-friendly. Mm. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and See you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye. Save the earth.